To the seniors of Brunswick High, this year was meant to be our year, but all of that came crashing down on March 13th, our last day of school. Senior year is meant to be the year that you always remember, and now ours is the one that the entire world will remember with us. However, at this time, instead of dwelling on current events, we'd like to recognize, celebrate, and support the class of 2020. This is for you guys. My favorite memory as a senior is seeing my friends every day. That will be also what I miss the most is seeing them. My favorite memory from high school is winning best percussion at championships for marching man this year. Being able to play four years of soccer with my friends and going undefeated my senior year in tennis. My senior season of basketball, I love the girls. They were super fun to be around and I'm really gonna miss that. It's one of the best teams I've ever had. Definitely my senior homecoming. The whole week, spirit week was so fun and I was lucky enough to be on court with my best friends so it made the experience even better. Definitely the dance off at the pep rallies. They were the best part of them having lunch junior year with all my friends. Um, we had a really good time and we just joked around and it was cool getting to go to lunch with them every day. My junior season playing football because we were able to just get out there and get after it and we conquered our goal. Definitely the dunk contest. It was something different that we've never done before in the four years I went to school. And it was just really cool. Like I had a lot of fun. I might've lost, shout out to Spencer, but man, I'd definitely do that again. My soccer senior night, just having all the people I love around me and getting shown so much appreciation, and of course winning the game, it was really good. Definitely beating the school record for most kills in a match for volleyball. I set the new record this year at 21, beating the previous of 18 set back in 2011. Fair memory from high school are the pep rallies and football games. Definitely just dressing up for Spirit Week and all of the games and just being in the student section with my friends. Playing softball with my girls, it was never a dull moment with them and I cherish every record that we broke together as a team. It's definitely the homecoming football game. Being in front of the student section was just really high energy and really fun. Attending my internship at Valley every day where I got to teach fourth graders and help them be successful in the classroom. It's definitely winning regionals in softball my junior year for the first time in school history. My favorite VHS memory of mine is the pep rallies that I went to in my junior year prom. When Brian, Gabby, and I all went down to the wrestling mat and we convinced Gabby to get on one with the little rollies under it. We were pushing her back and forth and before we knew it, Gabby slipped off. Going to the football games, swimming, I swam all four years and our team was really close and I made some really good friends from swimming so that was super fun. My favorite memory from Brunswick High School is soccer season. My favorite memory at BHS was probably pep rallies and dressing up for Spirit Week each year with my friends and being able to take pictures and look back and see how much we've changed and how different we look, especially from freshman year to now. I'll miss the connections that I have with the teachers the most. Seeing my friends and playing tennis. I'm really going to miss playing basketball, going to sporting events, and making fun of my friends every day. Definitely my friends. I am so sad that I have to leave all of my best friends in sixth grade. I'm definitely going to miss having such a tight-knit community because friends are so close together. Seeing my friends every day, joking around with them, and just having fun with them at school. Going to school every day and getting to see my friends and talking with my coaches and teachers. Talking to all the teachers I made a bond with because of you guys. You guys definitely changed my life and you're the reason why I want to be a teacher in the future. I think I'll miss just the environment at Brunswick the most. Since everything is so small, I have such a close bond with my friends and my teachers that I know I'm not gonna get at a giant state college. I'm really gonna miss being a part of the volleyball team. My coaches, teammates, and I had a really great bond. We were able to sing and dance and quote TikToks when we wanted to, but we were serious when we needed to be, and I'm really gonna miss being a part of that. What I'll miss the most are my friends and teachers. I'm really gonna miss all of the events with my friends and just playing softball with the girls I played softball with. Our small community, as well as Mr. Dillman's motivational speeches. Seeing all of my teachers and all my friends, we're all going our separate ways. Being in the car with my friends every morning because they always put me in a good mood no matter 
if I was having an off week, I was just having a bad day, or I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. All the wonderful relationships I've made with my teachers and my fellow classmates. Seeing my friends every day and even people I normally don't talk to, I'm going to miss talk all my teachers so much, being able to chat with them and joke around and just get seeing my friends every day. I think I made a lot of friendships that will last a lifetime through high school and so it's going to be hard not to see them every day. I'll definitely miss the teachers and staff and just the close-knit community. The friendships that I built that I know probably won't last throughout or after high school and a lot of the relationships that I built with my teachers. Most of all, I'm going to miss the people and uh, I want to thank everyone I've met, the friends, the teachers, everyone who's you know, stood by me and made me who I am today. My advice for freshmen is just to have fun and be yourself and enjoy it while it lasts. My advice for freshmen is to take advantage of the dual enrollment program. My advice to freshmen is to work hard, whether it be sport or school. Keep friends close because you only have four more years until you graduate and go your separate ways. Don't overthink things and just have fun because high school goes by super fast, even though it doesn't seem like it, it does. Talk to your teachers, like they have helped me with so much, whether it be like if I'm struggling outside of class, they'll talk to me. Get out there, do things that you wouldn't normally do. Make your make your voice heard. So I would just say put yourself out there and and, and introduce yourself to new people. To be social. Uh just make as many friends as you can and just make the most of every day that you have a high school. Just be yourself at the end of the day. Like don't try to be somebody you're not, and I know it sounds so corny, but like if I knew that sooner, I probably had a way better four years. Like my advice to freshmen would just be not to worry. Um, going into high school, you're really scared that all these things are gonna happen, and of course, you're gonna grow and change as a person, but it's not that scary. Go out and get involved in the school. You're gonna have a lot more fun and you're gonna enjoy your high school experience a lot more. I know I didn't get involved into my senior year and I really regret it. Respect your teachers, walk on the right side of the hallway and participate in extracurriculars. Do not stress out about things that will not matter in a year and just try to participate and have as much fun as you can. Cherish the activities that the school provides for you, especially football games, because I personally did not go to our football games, but I wish I would have because I walked out of the school March 13th not knowing if I was going to see my friends again. Try new things. Join the club, play that sport, talk to that person. Go with the flow. Don't let people get to you and just work hard in and, in and outside of school. Always stay true to who you are, no matter what happens, and do your best to surround yourself with good people that only want to see you succeed. Well, really try and take advantage of going to school. Talk to people you normally don't. Participate in as many activities as you can because it makes school more fun to go to. Get as included in everything that you can. Join the clubs, join the sports teams, go to the games. Get involved. There's so many opportunities in high school and just to try something that you've never tried before. To take advantage of your time and opportunities because it could get stolen from you like it was for us seniors. To take every chance you get and to spend as most of it with your friends as possible. Go to every dance, homecoming prom, the, all the games, football, basketball, volleyball. Be involved as much as you can because it's gonna fly by. My future plans are to attend college to be an elementary school art teacher. Go to Hood College for psychology for four years, then go into graduate school and eventually become a therapist that specializes in gender therapy. I will be majoring in early childhood education and one day I will become a kindergarten teacher. To attend Eastern Kentucky University for their fire, arson, and explosion investigation program. Then go into the private or public sector for fire investigation. This fall, I'm going to be going to Stevenson University to major in film and moving image. I plan on being an anesthesiologist nurse, so I'm going to do four years at Wilson's nursing program, and then I'll work in a two-year critical care unit, and then go back to school for my master's. And my future plans are to attend FCC for two years, transfer to a four-year college, and then later become a chiropractor. Attend Virginia Military Institute this fall, where I'll be playing soccer and I'll also be doing Navy ROTC, and hopefully I'll get a commission into the Navy to become a surface warfare officer. Well, I will be continuing my academic and athletic career at Stevenson University, 
and my major will be accounting and I'll minor in business administration. Go to FCC for two years and play basketball and major in secondary education in English. So I can become a high school English teacher one day. I'm going to the University of Maryland to major in chemistry and either double major or minor in computer science. And I really hope to be working as a lab technician soon at NCI or NIH. I'm going to go to Coastal Carolina University, and while I don't know what I want to major in yet, I'm thinking about being a diabetes educator. My future plans are to major in elementary education and possibly minor in vocal music performance at West Virginia University. In the future, I'm going to be a hairstylist, and I'm going to be opening my own salon, and hopefully I can create my own product line. My future plans are to study at Frostburg State University and impact my students as an elementary or middle school teacher. To go to Salisbury University, um, I'm going to be majoring in biology and minoring in exercise science. I'm um, hoping to become a research physician. So I want to help kids more often and I want to become a nurse for pediatrics. Going to Hood College where I am playing D3 Women's Lacrosse and I am majoring in elementary education and special education. I'll be attending Mount St. Mary's University to play softball. I plan to major in sports medicine with a minor in sports management. Attend FCC for two years and then transfer to a four-year college to um, study early childhood education. I'll be attending Susquehanna University in the fall. I'm super excited to be one step closer to my career. To attend Hood College to double major in psychology and biology in hopes of becoming a neurologist and I'm also swimming for them. I plan to attend Cedarville University in the fall major in biology and play soccer. I want to continue to go to school to become a pediatric physician assistant. I'm going to the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa for uh, aerospace engineering.